Hey everyone, I'm assuming that by watching this you already know who I am, but for those of you that don't, hi, I'm Dan from the Diamond Minecart and this is my Draw My Life. So my story begins on November the 8th, 1991, where I was born in a little town called Aldershot in England. To be honest, I don't remember much about the town at all, and of course my brain was really, really small, and I can't remember, but it also didn't help that I moved around a ton as a kid. Oh, I also forgot to mention that my brother joined the party two and a half years after me, but we'll get back to that later. Basically, my dad was in the army, which meant he had to go to different places around the country for his job, which also meant that we had to follow him around and move houses. We did this so much that me and my brother ended up attending about 10 schools by the time we were 10. Pretty damn crazy. Moving around all this time kind of meant that we never really made too many long-lasting friends, as we knew we'd always have to leave at some point in the near future. But something we always had were two things. One, each other, and two, video games. This led to me and my brother having an awesome relationship, kind of like best friends, and we both developed a love for video games that sticks with us until this very day. The first console we got was a SNES, which was awesome. Mario, Zelda, Bomberman, you name it, we played it from beginning to end. Then something big happened. What we thought was a happy family really wasn't as my mum and dad decided to get a divorce. At the time, this hit me really hard as I go from seeing my dad every day to maybe just once a week, but in the long run it definitely turned out for the better. So me, my mum and my brother ended up moving to the town we still live in now. But it was that time again to start another new school. For some reason, this time was particularly scary and I was painfully shy and straight up missed my dad. At the beginning, it was very hard to make friends when I was so shy, but eventually met a small group of people who would stick with me for a very long time, and I also met a very pretty girl named Gemma, who unknown to me at this time would eventually be the girl that I would marry, but more about that later. Over my time in education, I developed a lot of my personality, mainly discovering that I was still addicted to video games, but also that I was a very creative person. Drawing and music became my two main interests at school, and I also focused my studies around it when it came to choosing what to educate myself in. However, the art course was horrendous and I lost interest quickly, but music was always there, especially because me and my brother had started a band. I learned the guitar, which I loved, and I was also the person who wrote the songs and sung too. My brother was the drummer, and two other friends joined for bass and and another guitar. This was great fun and we played a ton of gigs together and helped me to get over my shyness a little bit by playing in front of loads of people. This was also the time where I turned a little alternative in style with spiky belts, skinny jeans and literally had my hair every colour that you can think of in tons of different styles. Another thing I discovered during school is I'm not very academic at all. Music and art were what I was good at as I could express my creativity with whatever popped into my head, but when it came to studying A-levels, I just couldn't perform well when it came to tests and exams, no matter how hard I studied. This was very frustrating as the pressure to get good grades or you end up with nothing was something schools drilled into you and I was unsure how on earth I was going to survive and get a job when I couldn't even do well in tests. However, things started to look up. You remember that girl Gemma I was talking about earlier? Well, she happened to be in every class that I was, and we even sat next to each other in them too. And eventually, we became girlfriend and boyfriend back in 2009. I then passed my driving test when I was 17, and me and Gemma moved into our own little flat at just 18 years old. The independence began, and even though we had very little money, we were very happy. Then university came, and all my friends moved away, and the academic bug came back to bite me yet again. Even though I chose to study music production, a subject I really enjoyed, there was a lot of writing and essays involved, which I just found way too tricky and led me to not really enjoy it that much. But because a degree was still a degree, and I could just about get by, I stuck in there. It was around this time that I discovered the Pokemon trading card game, a game that I'm sure loads of you are familiar with, but little did we know there was a whole tournament circuit and many people of similar ages played the game too. I learned the rules, bought the cards and started going to tournaments regularly which led to me making great friends and travelling all over Europe, which was pretty awesome. This was also the first time that I actually felt smart at something, as the game was full of strategy and thinking and I was actually pretty good at it. I even still play it today. My love for this game eventually led me to making a YouTube channel completely about the Pokemon trading card game. I learned to edit, create and narrate videos all by myself and it felt great. I made all my own music, all my own graphics by teaching myself Photoshop and was also making myself better at the game too. On top of that, I actually got a nice little following on that channel and with each video I became more confident with myself and my video making ability. The shy boy from before was starting to come out of his shell. 
Over the next year or so, the channel was a really nice hobby, and me and Gemma moved into a slightly bigger house, which cost a little bit more and meant we even had less money, but at the time, we loved it. Even though in the winter it was so cold, we'd have to wear multiple jumpers to keep warm. By this time, we had been together for a very long time, and we saved up for a little holiday by the sea, where I decided to propose to Gemma on the beach, and to my surprise, she said yes. As soon as we got home, we both put in all the work we could in our little supermarket jobs to save for a wedding, which was pretty damn expensive, and we were very happy, content, and looking forward to the future. This was around the time that my brother invited me round to play a brand new game called Minecraft on the Xbox 360. Both of us and Gemma were all very heavy video game players. He threw me into this amazing world that he had spent ages building and we played it for hours. Then I went home, bought two PC accounts for me and Gemma and we played it for hours, days and weeks on end. It was awesome. With me enjoying making videos so much for the Pokemon side of things, I decided to make a second channel called The Diamond Minecart, where I just upload a couple of videos every now and then, and it was very casual, but a different way of editing and commentating than I was used to. From the 22nd of August 2012, which is the first mod showcase I ever made, and following for it grew and grew until eventually it overtook my Pokemon channel, getting around 10,000 subscribers in about 7 months. I was pretty astounded that this many people actually liked my videos and continued both channels, with the Minecraft one becoming my main priority. Things have been going really well for a while in our lives and we were very content, but in the late part of November, Gemma was rushed into hospital. In all honesty, this was one of the scariest moments of my life and I wasn't even the one in hospital. Originally, the doctor said she had appendicitis, which is actually quite a common thing and can be easily solved with a simple operation. The day of the operation came and instead of an hour, Gemma was in there for eight long hours where I must have called the hospital a hundred times to check if she was okay. I finally got the call to come and see her and when I arrived, she was asleep on the hospital bed with wires attached to her, which were attached to machines, and it was just a horrible sight to see. It was at this time that we discovered that Gemma has a condition called Crohn's disease, which is an illness that can never be cured, but can be managed. Luckily, after a good month or so resting, Christmas came and went and Gemma's health was getting back on track, just in time for our wedding day in March 2013. I can honestly say that this was one of the best days of my life, and one that I will never forget as long as I live, and we both had the most amazing time celebrating each other and our future, especially after what happened just a couple of months before. Thanks to our wedding gifts, we were able to go to Orlando in America for our honeymoon for two weeks and this was a great adventure for the both of us. We had a great time and little did I know that my Minecraft channel had begun its explosion into the community which carried on right through the summer months and we hit a huge number of about 500,000 subscribers by the time September began. This was at the point in my life where the university degree I wasn't really enjoying was ending and I was ready for what everyone called the real world. I managed to finish my degree with the second highest mark you could get thanks to my practical work and I was feeling pretty proud of myself but seemingly my only option for a job was to stay in a supermarket, which I definitely didn't want to do. So it took me a while but with a little help from Gemma's convincing I took the plunge, quit my job and decided to pursue my dream of working for myself on something that I had built from the ground up and that was the channel that you are watching this video on today. Today. To be honest, quitting my secure job was very, very scary and was a big risk that I'm so glad I took in the end. I was really happy to be working for myself on something that I was really passionate about and something that was actually transforming me into the person that I am today. Making videos every day and having people actually subscribe, comment and like all those videos gave me more and more confidence in myself that I always wished I had and I guess I have you guys to thank for that. And here we are at today where this channel has hit 1 million subscribers, a number that I could have only dreamed of when I started this YouTube channel, and the channel is still growing in ways that I never even imagined. Me and Gemma started to move again literally a few days ago to a house we absolutely love and are eagerly awaiting the arrival of our new pug puppy, who I'm sure you'll all be introduced to very, very soon. As for the future, who knows what it has to bring. If you asked me what my future was going to be when I started university, the position I'm in in life right now would be just the dream, but thanks to you, my beautiful wife and family for giving me support, this is only the beginning. And before I go, if there's any message I would like to leave you with is if there's something out there that you feel you're good at or you have a dream of where you want to be in life, at least give it a good hard try because you never know what life will bring. Thank you.